What's good people, it's your boy and today I'm gonna be making a dancehall beat for Lil Tecca's new album called Virgo World. So my favorite track from that album was uh, Our Time, so I wanna make a beat similar to that track. So, so tempo is 93 and I'm going to open up a marimba from Expand and I'm going to make a simple chord progression using that marimba. So this one, this one's pretty good. So I'm going to use a C minor scale for this. Okay, so these are some pretty good chords for this, so now I'm going to randomize the velocities. And I'm going to strum these notes as well, so... Okay, that sounds pretty nice now. Now let's add some effects to this marimba, so first off let's add some reverb. So now let's layer this uh, marimba with something else from Expand, so something less noticeable, so put down the release a little bit. So let's put that to a different mixer track and let's EQ out some of the frequencies. So I want to get rid of this low end and a little bit of high end, so... And I want to put some reverb to this as well. That sounds perfect. Now I want to add some vocals. And I'm going to use vocal runs for that, so... So these vocals sound really nice, now I wanna add some autotune to this, so let's open up this autotune and pick soprano and this is C minor scale, so... So let's add some more effects, now I wanna add some reverb. Yeah. 
Now let's add some stir shaper to widen the sound a little bit. That's pretty much it. Now I want to move on to drums. So first off, I want to add a. Okay, so I want to add a rim for this. That's pretty nice. Response is insane. Ooh, that sounds sick, what the fuck? Let's hear that from the beginning. I like that, I really like this, so I'm just going to lower the velocity a little bit. And let's do some panning action on this, so Alt and R, and I'm going to randomize a little bit of velocities and a lot of panning, so I'm going to turn this bipolar on and... That's cool. I'm going to disable these vocals for now. So let's add this spin zero eight, and I'm going to turn this out knob 50% up. So let's add a kick. Okay, now let's copy that over to the 808 and uh, let's put this 808 in incorrect keys actually, so... That sounds nice. Now let's add a open hat. And let's add another uh, hi hat pattern, which is just going to be two step. So let's use this. And since it's hot time, let's just do this. And let's randomize the velocities heavily on this one, so... Actually, let's do normal two-step pattern and let's randomize the panning and velocities as well, so... Okay, this beat is pretty much done. The only thing I want to add 
more to this is going to be a subbase so i'm gonna open up morphin and i'm going to use the subbase that i always use this is my go-to subbase but actually so it's this one and up here so i'm going to copy and iterate pattern to the subbase pattern sounds nice now let's see how that sounds without the array actually pick a different surface and that's pretty much it now i'm going to mix this and i'm gonna let you guys listen to the full beat after that so and that is pretty much it for this tutorial i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i hope you guys did learn something new i think this beat turned out really freaking fire so let me know guys what you think about this beat and i'm gonna see you in the next one